So it's obviously a heartwarming video, like people celebrating, you know? Obviously, graduations are always like fun celebrations because it's a huge accomplishment. People put a lot of work uh, into going to school, learning all these things, passing the tests and assignments. And so, of course, people are going to want to celebrate, and that's fantastic. And so it's great to see this is a viral story, but it does draw a pretty stark contrast from a story that was previously reported on here on Indisputable. Now, this is obviously deeply infuriating because, I mean, what are these students doing? They're literally just expressing joy. They're excited. They're happy. They're like, yo, I just graduated. That's fantastic. This is amazing, right? And of course, you want to celebrate and like dance around a little bit. That's fantastic that people are so excited about graduating. And you'll notice that there was a police officer in the previous video too that just kind of like wandered by in the in the first one and just let the kids dance because of course that's what a normal person would do. But this is what's so infuriating and frustrating about police in the United States of America, right? Because they kind of exist on a spectrum of things that police officers will go viral for. Sometimes you have police officers that will go viral for participating in some sort of heartfelt moment. Like, oh, look at this cop just hanging out with kids in a neighborhood or whatever and just trying to be a part of the community. But then you also have police officers that will like brutally assault random people that will like victimize people or do things like in this instance where a police officer literally grabs one of the students who once again is just dancing, hurting literally nobody. And that is one of those things that is so infuriating because 
Police officers can represent such a wild card in our society where the whims of however that police officer feels about any given situation, unfortunately is allowed to determine how those situations go. Where you can take a moment of joint celebration and if a police officer is bothered by that joint celebration, now all of a sudden you're getting grabbed by some random guy telling you that you can't be celebrating your graduation as much as you are. That you need to stop dancing or calm down or whatever. And this is, I I think part of what makes policing as an institution so particularly vicious because police officers are regularly painted as these like people who are here to protect the community and there's like so much like effort put into making police officers appear as though they're just these like regular guys that are here to keep us safe well at the same time they represent like such an immediate and present danger, a potential that things would escalate and become dangerous in situations that do not need it. And that is one of the things that is so frustrating about the normalization of police officers being in schools because there is just this constant threat that children have to deal with where is this police officer gonna be happy that I'm happy today? Or is this police officer gonna be bothered by my expression of joy? And that really puts kids in this really difficult and complicated psychological state. It is something that is not healthy for people to be dealing with on a regular basis, especially students who should feel safe and they should feel comfortable celebrating when they are doing things like graduating. They should be comfortable expressing themselves in the context of a school. And yet having police officers in schools creates an extreme element of uncertainty where unfortunately the way our institutions are structured, if the student uh, is targeted by a police officer in some way, then the institutions are designed to put all of the blame on the students and not blame on the police officers. They, there's an expected impunity that police officers have. And this is just something that's been normalized in American schools, which unfortunately creates situations like this, where you can have students celebrating their graduation and you can have a police officer that just gets upset by their joy. And if this plays out, you know, in much larger ways in society that we see. And it's fundamentally something that we need to address on a structural level. Because at the end of the day, most of what police officers respond to is not violent crime. It does not necessitate an armed person to bring the threat of death and violence along with them in order to respond to it. Most of what police officers respond to are actually like, Generally, quite small things that you could easily have, like you know, like a, a you know, social worker or a psychologist or somebody else responding that would be far more helpful and supportive. And in actuality, what instead we have as a society is somebody with a gun. Um, and so it's really, really you know, exciting to see people celebrate their graduation. You love to see it; it's very heartwarming. But it's deeply unfortunate that we as a society allow police officers to create this uncertainty about moments like that.